Hey guys, so today I have something pretty interesting for you, and that is this used PCIe Enterprise solid state drive. Now, this particular model um, is a Fusion IO IO scale, and this thing has a whopping 3.2 terabytes of flash on it. Maybe even more amazing though, these things are only going for about $250 on eBay, and in some cases, you can offer and get them for even less. The flash memory chips on this uh, SSD are MLC, so 2 bits per cell. And uh, if we zoom in here a little bit more, you can see, you can see that they're made by Micron. Now, um, these seem to have been a SanDisk and now Western Digital product. So using Micron flash memory is a little bit interesting to me, since uh, I would have thought that it would have been uh, Toshiba since that was uh, SanDisk's development partner, now Western Digital's development partner. Of course, Toshiba is now called Kyoxia because, hey, what better way to destroy brand identity than rename it to something really obscure. Because this is an enterprise drive, though, this thing has a ton of write endurance. So if you look at your, you know, consumer-grade 2 terabyte NVMe drives on the market today, the write endurance on them is only something like 1.4 petabytes. This thing has 20 petabytes of write endurance. So even though it's used, chances are you have way more write endurance than your average consumer drive. So if you've been looking for an SSD for like a game drive or something, this is probably a pretty good option. Okay, so here's the computer. And uh, first what I'll do is I will just uh, disconnect this quick disconnect so I have room to maneuver that uh, card in. So now that that's free, and I can go ahead and find my longer uh, by 16 slot and then remove the screw that holds the plate in or the back panel plate. Then I can go ahead and take this new SSD and get this in there. And pop it in the slot. And I can go ahead and reconnect my water cooling, which just, just fits. Clearing that. Got the water cooling secured. Now I can take my top screw and secure the SSD. Okay, so next we're going to have to get the drivers and software for this drive. So we'll go to Western Digital's uh, Enterprise. Uh, download site and uh, you will need to make a, an account so if you just register for one and just select any of the options that come up like I think I just chose like the SanDisk Enterprise option and filled in my information um, I was able to get an account very easily so once you've gone in and then um, logged in you can go and ch select the product so we have the IO scale ch select our OS which for me is Windows and then the release version which will just grab the latest version so then down here in the available downloads um, we can go to the firmware and the software binaries and we'll just select both of these but you can see they're added to our cart and then we can hit download all now let's go to our download area and we'll start with the software so we'll go ahead and install that Next we'll want to open up a command prompt and uh, the command we're going to type is FIO hyphen status space A for all. And this is going to give us all the information about this uh, particular SSD. So you can see here it's found one IO memory device, right? It's showing here it's an IO scale 3.2 terabyte. Um, down here some interesting stuff so this is showing us the PCIe slot power so um, this thing should be uh, should should take up to 75 watts but you can see here that this particular PCIe slot is actually only limited to like 25 watts or 24.75 so I can go ahead and with some commands I can enable the full range of power which um, from what I've seen affects performance slightly not a lot but ever so slightly um, looking some more, uh, looking down further at some more attributes, uh, I can see the firmware version 7.1.17, which is the latest one. So I actually am not going to use that firmware that I downloaded. 
Uh, once again, we see 3.2 terabytes. We see the internal temperature. So this thing is running at about 52.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, some more power stuff. And then um, here's probably the stuff that uh, we were really interested in seeing. So the rated uh, petabyte writes. So earlier I said these have an endurance of 20 petabytes and this drive is telling me it has almost 84 percent remaining so that's huge right sure this is a used drive but you know 84 percent of 20 petabytes is already greater than any other consumer drive I'm going to be getting brand new so this will last me quite a while the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to override that 25 watt PCIe limit the 25 watt limit is a default for expansion cards from the PCIe spec um, but other cards like graphic ca graphics cards are allowed to drop to 75 watts and well since this is in a by 16 slot that was meant for graphics card and this board does support uh, crossfire um, this slot should be able to supply 75 watts so to set that override the command we're going to use is fio hyphen config space hyphen p and then fio underscore external underscore power underscore override and then we need to enter the serial number of the device which you can get with fio hyphen status um, mine is one four three nine D15FA and then we're going to use colon and then the number that we want to allow the override to. So I want 75 watts so I'm going to put 75. And there we go that's that. So uh, to apply all these um, I'm going to have to reboot so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay now that the computer's back up we're going to go ahead and open up our command window again and uh, one thing I neglected to mention earlier is make sure you do this as administrator and then we will check to see if that PCIe power override worked with FIO hyphen status space hyphen A and if we go up to the first block of information you can see now that PCIe power limit threshold is 75 watts so it was successful now we have to initialize and format the disk so enter your uh, disk management and then uh, when you first enter it you'll probably get a pop-up telling you oh hey there's an uninitialized disk so you can do that but I've uh, exited that out so I can show you here we'll click this this disk zero which is showing right around three terabytes I'll right click and initialize the disk we want to use GPT we'll hit OK now we can go ahead and click on this unallocated space, right click, new simple volume, and we'll just go through the wizard to set up our new drive. So we want the full size, a new letter, this one, I guess it'll be I, which is appropriate for I.O. scale, and NTFS, default, I'm just going to call this my I.O. scale and do the format and there we go now if you were to open up my computer you should see you now have the three terabyte SSD available so because we all love benchmarks I have a couple of uh, crystal disk mark tests up here for you uh, the top left one is my Samsung 970 Evo NVMe drive top right is the new Fusion IO scale 3 terabyte drive PCIe and the lower left is a silicon power P34A80 Fizen E12 controller NVMe drive and in the lower right is a crucial M4 uh, SATA 3 SSD so quite old um, as you can see the IO scale is not quite as fast as the latest NVMe drives but that said it's still quite a bit faster and a good intermediary um, from the SATA drives to the NVMe drives. So overall I'm pretty happy with the performance especially for the price and uh, you know for something that came out in 2013 um, I think this does quite well.